Uh, we're now joined by Bob Mortimer, and uh, Bob's got a uh, a novel out. Here it is. Here it is. Bob. There it is. The the Satsuma uh, complex. Um, you might as well tell us what it's about, Bob. Oh well, that's a tricky one. It's a boy meets girl, really. And should they or shouldn't they get together? Do you want them to get together? Will it be a happy ending? And there's a bit of a thriller element. I I wanted to um, write a book. You know that had a proper exciting story. And then once I'd got that in place, I tried to make it a bit funny as well. It's like, um, I kind of think of it like when I'm on Would I Lie To You, people have enjoyed me just telling daft yarn. Yes. yes. So it's kind of a big daft yarn, but I don't think that can sustain for 70,000 words or whatever. So, uh, <laughs> you know, so you know, it's got a bit of a thrilling story. It's got like, um, like a romance with mild peril. <laughs> Something like that. I, yeah. I you know, I, I've, I've, I've read it and listened to half of an audio book, and I really, really enjoyed it. I think I've never listened to an audio book before. Right, it's the first time ever that I've done it, and I, I was determined that I wanted to make sure that I read the whole book before you came on. So I thought, right, you know what? These words do. I'll read, and I thought, well, and then the bits I'm not in, I'll, I'll read the audio book. And I'm really glad I did because, like, you hear your voice doing characterisation of other characters in it. And then when I went about reading it. As well as listening to your voice, then I'm also not giving anything away. The squirrel with the Geordie accent was just brilliant. Oh, yeah, Bob, you don't want to do it. Gary's gone, <laughs> didn't he? <laughs> Gary, you want to think around that, mate? <laughs> it's, it was just a little... I had the squirrel, it sounds like a bit um, crazy, but the, it, it's, for someone who's not a writer, it's quite hard doing those internal monologues. So I thought, oh, if I talk to someone... Yeah. It makes it a lot, yeah. lot easier. Should I do this? No, you shouldn't do yeah, that, yeah. mate. <laughs> There's well, a lot of peril involved in that choice. So your character is talking to the squirrels, yeah, as you yeah. would expect with a Bob Mortimer book. But, but um, explain your character, cos <laughs> is it based on your...? It's uh... just me, yeah. yeah. But I'd, I'd written my autobiography, so I told that story. So I just went back to when I was, like, 30 and I was working at um, a solicitor's and imagined a sort of, like, a Bob Mortimer who could meet girls, who could stand up for himself a bit. And you know we would get step out of his comfort zone a bit and see what yeah. that was like. So it was good fun making I, a new life for myself. I loved it too. And I'd listen. I'd, I'd actually done the audio book with your biography because uh, and away because I was like, if I'm paying, I might as well get you to read it for right. me. So yeah. there you go. and I've done it on this as well. And it's just so lovely having you tell me a story. And then you get to chapter twelve and Sally Phillips comes yeah. in. Yeah. And she's part of the audio book. That's amazing, yeah. isn't it? How, yeah. what, 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 how did you get her involved in it? Well, because Sally's the best, you know. So I asked her and she said yes. And I did, I did Taskmaster with Sally as well, so... Right. Um, she's a lovely lass and, and hugely talented, so... Do, do you read a lot of fiction yourself? Not so much. Um, the, I, I, I read um, the books by Murakami, you know, Japanese fella. And uh, that's yeah. why it was called The Satsuma Complex, cos when I found to write it, I thought I'd have the skills to write a proper book. But after a few paragraphs, I realised that I couldn't do that. But then the name stuck, and in the story, I meet a girl who's reading that book, The Satsuma yeah. Complex, and then a, a f throughout the book, the, the book in the story, The Satsuma Complex, <laughs> sort of dictates which way the story How goes. How disciplined so. were you when you did it? Because, I mean, you used to write in comedy all the time, so I suppose there's a writer in you anyway. I suppose, yeah. Um, I'd watch the telly and type a paragraph, watch the telly, Real Housewives, Below Deck, <laughs> you know. <laughs> At the moment, 90 Day Fiancé. And I found it... I did that with my autobiography, and I found it really, like, quite age-appropriate, sitting on a sofa. So I wanted to do this one, and if I got stuck, I'd get in my car and go to the retail, bar, the retail park nearby, park opposite Pets at Home in Halfords, <laughs> and... Uh, Right in, right in my car, you know. I don't know whether he's being serious <laughs> or not. No, absolutely. True. No, it really helps. You know, you can, you know, people. You sort of feel people go off and write in, like, sort of into Switzerland or yeah, into yeah, remote yeah. cottages or something. But I found it great just Retail having part. people about. Yeah. Just watching. Will you people. do more? Did you... If people are interested, you know, I'd like to find out what's um, happened to these people. I do. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. reading, I'm reading your autobiography. What's great about it is it seems you, you didn't really enjoy working as a, in a, a solicitor's firm. And then you met Vic. And then your life since then has just seemed to be fun. You've really enjoyed everything you've done. You, you had a few problems with your acting, which you didn't enjoy. <laughs> but generally, you've enjoyed everything. Are you in... Did you enjoy writing this book? Was it a pleasure? Yeah, it was a... It was a... It, it's difficult. It, it, it was difficult, but um, I really did f um, fall for these people in the book. 
Yeah. And like I say, I hope they're doing okay now the book's finished. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But, um, no, it was great. And, um, I've, you know, you start getting ideas of what might happen. And it was quite good fun having people's people they're just in a book but having their future in your hands you know yeah and, and is this gonna be turned into a tv show a film or something Have i don't know i think know. it's quite exciting yeah oh, well it's just because yeah. there's jokes in it it's funny yeah it's, it's comedy, very visual it's, yeah where you write well yeah, maybe yeah yeah um how's paul whitehouse is he well he's been doing well we were fishing last week and um he's as grumpy as ever he's got a bad knee makes him even worse well, how is both your health? How's your heart? How's his heart? But uh, you know, and, and, and everything. Are you They're in? doing fine. Right. It's it's your jo when you get to my age, it's your joints that go. That's yeah. what dominates your life: your knees, your <laughs> elbows. You know, I used to love preparing an exterior uh, of a property ready to paint, but I can't do that anymore. Right. You can't be doing this. And this your shoulder will go. You have a few operations. Keep your ticking over. <laughs> yeah, and, over. <laughs> and there's something we, we were wondering about, yeah. right? Because when we had Vic on recently, we asked him about the glove. And um, something in his reply made us think, is the glove a joke? Yeah. Is it? Is it? Is it like? Because he always, it's always yeah. next year, and it's it's a it's about Michael Jackson's glove, and, and we feel that we might be part of a elaborate thick and yeah. Bob joke where you're telling everyone you're doing this. No, film. It's, a, it's a real thing, but it's I think it's been in the making now. For, I might be getting on for 20, 20 years or something. <laughs> so I never feel, you know. It's a it's a funny business that I don't really understand. We put the script in, and we, occasionally we hear that it's <laughs> going to start. You know, but, no, it's for real. Is it? it, it is. Oh, I promise you. Yeah. I'm yeah. still not sure if I believe. No, it. not. <laughs> <laughs> so it's always next year, isn't it? Yeah. So you're actually filming it next year. Don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> God, that would be yeah. I don't know what the point of that ruse would be. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Because you can do it, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bob, it's been it's, it's wonderful having you on on, on the show as always. I'm, I'm, the, the book's fantastic. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I want to know what I haven't finished it yet. So I'm uh, only, well, I'm only, you know, I, 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 I said, you know, you, you do you have to do it because I want to know what happens to the three main characters without without yeah. and the squirrels, obviously. Well, the dog's my favourite. Uh, lasso, lasso, of lasso yeah. the dog. Yeah. yeah, you do talk about food a lot, don't you? And it's uh, you're very good with food. Like when you're having the fish and chips and half, and then some goes to Lasso and the Battenberg, which we're doing. Yeah, well, I'm doing Battenberg for uh, the last dish today. It's Gary's a great favorite. cake, isn't it? It is a great. Cake. I mean, it's a, there's a lot of comfort food in the yeah. in in the book because you know he's a fellow who needs a bit of comfort all the time. Yeah, because he's a lonely kind of lad. Yeah. So, um, and, the, and obviously the herbal tea in the car, which we won't go into. Um, <laughs> <laughs> at all. Thanks, Bob. Your new book, The Satsuma Complex, is available now. <laughs>